Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stark, and welcome to this inaugural episode of a series in which I am calling Stark Silver Linings. In this series, we'll take a look at games of StarCraft that I play, and hopefully learn from all the mistakes that I make, because I indeed make a lot of them. But it's all about fun. That's why we're here, we're here to have fun, and... What better way to have fun than self-analyzing just how badly I can play? In this game, we have myself playing the Pink Zerg Cash in the top right corner of Neo Planet S. I like pink. Pink's a good color for Zerg, but pink's also one of the best colors in the game, so... And down in the bottom left, we have my good friend and former colleague and sparring partner, Jackie Chen playing the Teal Taran. So I guess I should talk to you a little bit about what we, what I intend to do, aside from looking at the mistakes, give a little bit of you know, generic knowledge about the game, what you should do, what kind of things we're looking at, if, if I notice anything that I really should have done. Um, like if, if you find yourself in similar situations, I might talk about a little bit how better you can get out of them or deal with them better than I did. Uh, so let's get to it, shall we? As we can see, early on in the game, I'm looks like I'm going for a traditional, you know, 15 hatch into probably a pool next with a extractor. In the hopes of... In this game, I believe I was actually trying to do a quick burrow roach build. Kind of like a whack-a-mole thing. Um, against, I mean, it's, I've, I've actually found it to be somewhat effective against Terran if they don't really expect it coming. Unfortunately, I think I was actually talking to uh, Mr. Chan here beforehand, and he actually kind of prepared for it. Because I, I remember, I do remember talking to him. I, I think a couple of days before we actually played this game, that yeah, I was trying out this new this hatch, this burrow hatch build, and with roaches. So we'll see how that turns out. I believe it doesn't turn out very well because I think I panic, like, really, really bad. And we'll see just how well, how badly I panic and what I could have done to actually probably win this game. Um, as you may have guessed, since I'm doing a, a video series on the mistakes I make, most of the time I'm going to be losing games. Every now and then I'll have a winning game because maybe I just got lucky. And which, and then we'll talk about that as well. So it's currently in this game, just have some, you know, traditional early game production, queens, supply depots, bunkers, stuff like that. And what's he making up here? So it looks like he's going into... Well, he did the extractor build opening, which is actually really good, because um, it lets you get widow mines or hellions early on. Quick hellions. I mean, it's, it's becoming very popular to actually do gas openings as Terran now. Uh, just because it's been so much more effective. You can get early Reapers, you can get quick Hellions, you see he's sticking on the reactor. So, that's it's good. So he's probably switching into Hellions or maybe even Widow Mines. And he's doing the command center down here, which is kind of interesting. Most players would probably put it here first and then move it over to here, but hey. The bunker place is actually quite nice. It will sort of help what's with what's coming. And yes, I, I did in fact do the the burrow tech early on in this game. So we'll just sort of see how that plays out. I know not much really goes on the first you know couple of minutes of a game. So how are you today? It's right now it's a Monday morning. I'm having a good day so far. Hope you're having a good day so far as well. So Watch a nice game of StarCraft that I uh, played absolutely abysmally. And here we have the first approaches, and looks like some Hellions. Yes, it was Hellions come out. Do, do a bit of harassment around the 6.30 mark, which is alright. Of course, Roaches are a little slow, and Hellions will just kind of swing back ar around. And looks like he's, re now he's got some four Hellions on the field, a couple of bunkers, defending his nice base. The problem is, that's what I also want to stress. The name of this particular match 
or video as you've seen is called it's good to be rich why because he's got a lot of money he's got a much better income than I do because I'm playing absolutely terrible and see this is another thing that I could have done I could have made like a spine crawler here or even here with an evo chamber that made, made the rope the hellions take the long way around it takes me a while to actually kill them and I didn't even run any drones. Did he kill any drones that time? Yes, he did. He killed actually three drones. So, I've killed four Hellions, so the total units lost is... Resources lost is in my favor, but drones actually make money. Hellions just kind of... They just kill things. But It looks like... Oh, here we are. Uh, let's take a step back, because this is actually where I kind of screw up here. This is where I start to panic. See, I start doing this... Roach burrow micro, and it starts going okay. But now here's my problem: is I'm attacking this stupid bunker instead of attacking the six SCVs and a mule, sort of repairing it. See, if I attacked the SCVs and the mule, I probably could have killed them all, and then killed the bunker, and then killed the two Hellions and the Marauder. But I didn't. I was too focused. I panicked, and I was too bloody focused on killing this bunker. And the thing is. I probably could have won at that point because right now I still have a bigger army. Like I have a massively bigger, I have a much much bigger army. So I probably could have won if I didn't, if I actually didn't panic. But I did. And here's my problem: I'm still kind of going at it, despite the fact that I have no gas to actually make more roaches. Because again, my income is actually just really really bad. I mean, I have 22, 21 workers, and it's nine minutes in. This is kind of an all-in right now. If I don't, if I didn't actually break this, I'd be, I'm so far behind at this point that if this doesn't work, I essentially lose. So, and I, again, I, co I go after this bunker, which, hey, there's no SCVs repairing at this time, that's okay, but... He's got a lot of he's got a couple of widow mines which are actually scam me off despite the fact he only has like four units. I could have killed these really, really could have killed these really, really easily, and I didn't. I could have, and then I just could have walked around here and started killing stuff, but I didn't. I was too I was too scared, basically. And now you can just build the widow mines, put them into a more defensive position, and again, my income is still bloody awful. And, well, I'm making four drones now at least. But I just want to point out that it's 10 minutes in, and I've got 26 workers, and I've only got 12 of them mining minerals. This base is at half efficiency, and what am I doing on this one? I have 8. Yeah. So out of 26 workers, he's got double my work account on two bases. I've still got a much bigger army, because I've just been sort of going into this, which is not a good idea at this point. I'm pretty much all in here. And I, I just can't break this with the type of units that I have. I mean, roaches can kill marines, yeah, but with these widow mines here, and he's getting marauders. I think he's actually getting some dropships. Yeah, he's got two dropships on the way. And with this, with this army, if I just smashed it into here, I might. I might have won, but I, I don't think so, because these widow mines would have just done so much damage to me. Um. Like this widow mine's got eight It's a it's a corporal. It's it's an automaton, and it's it has a rank. <sighs> and here's another one. Here's a, another big problem. I'm still. I don't even have. No, I don't. I don't even have any type of movement speed because I've just been having this terrible, terrible income. I just, it's it's good to be rich in this game, and he's got that. He's got that in spades. Um, he's got double my gas. He's got almost. He's got double my mineral count, and he's got a lot more production facilities than I do. And for some reason, I built another hatchery. I don't know why. I don't even have the workers to sort of go down there. I mean, I probably built it because I had money at the time, and I have money now because I'm not spending anything. Like, if you look at my production, I'm not building any units. I'm just building tech upgrades. Build them once, and that's it. I'm too busy focusing on on all of this, basically. Just kind of moving these around, chasing metavacs with slow-moving roaches, 
and slow moving zerglings. I lose this. I could have cancelled it before we finished building, which I probably should have, because then I would have gotten the money back. Because now we can just grab up and boost away at least my entire armor down here. It's like, well, that's awesome. And of course, I know they're coming up here, so I may take all my drones off the line, which isn't necessarily a bad thing to do, because otherwise I would have lost a lot more. So, I'm going to lose this queen probably. Nope. Nah, nope, not quite. Queen doesn't die. And this medevac just sort of sits and chills here. I don't think I actually do anything about this, because I don't even think it's here anymore. I think it left with this one, because I saw this one bolt away, so I figured they'd both left. And this one sort of just chills here for the rest of the game, with its Marauder and four Marines just kind of sitting there. And even my creep spread this game is actually kind of bad, because I've been way too busy actually trying to do things. Like, my APM is pretty garbage right now. I'm supply capped. I've been supply capped for actually quite some time. I'm not even building an overlord. Let's see how long it takes me to build an overlord. Let's see. Ten seconds. Nope, not yet. Fifteen. There we go. So I wait for about fifteen to twenty seconds before I realize I'm supply capped and actually start building an overlord. And he's got this big army just kind of meandering out. Of course, I've got four swarm hosts in the middle of nowhere that are going to do nothing. Because this many swarm hosts against this, there's not really much I can do. And he's on his third base already, so he's got the money. As I said in the beginning, it is good to be here. She's got triple my income, basically. And that's not surprising, because he's got double my workers, and he's got mules. How many mules does he have out right now? He's got three mules out right now. So he's just got triple my income. And these swarm hosts just kind of sit back and do nothing. Of course, he doesn't even bother scanning, which... I mean, there's no point. I mean, once, once the locusts are out, they're out. They're out. Like, isn't really going to do much. And there's the GG. I think I believe I just quit. And continued on. And kind of cried myself to sleep. I know it goes on for another minute or so, but... It's basically just me and him bantering back and forth. So what I learned from this game... What I learned is I need to attack bloody SCVs that are repairing bunkers right here, for, for one. Two, I learned that roaches and zerglings, well, if I got the speed upgrade earlier, I might have been able to do a little better, but against this kind of unit composition, the marauders, the widow mines, some marines, and, and with the medevac support, what I'm using is not going to cut it. I need to, I need to make better units. If I made some banelings, maybe some hydralisks. I did have a spire somewhere. Uh, I was building a spire after I destroyed the first one. So if I got some air units to actually try to harass a little bit, some mutalisks maybe, go after the yeah, go after the mineral lines. Because even even this one, this one didn't even have any type of static air defense. This one did. So I had a turret here, two turrets. This one just didn't even bother. So even if I could have, you know, done like a zergling run by to this base uh, later on, but my income was just so bad, as we can see, only 38 workers compared to 73. I'm behind basically the entire game, and that's partially because of this. Uh, where is it here? I think it's around here. Uh, five minutes now. Six minutes. Uh, probably about 9 minutes, I believe. Yeah, about the 8 minute mark. This is pretty much why I'm behind. Is because I'm attacking this stupid bunker and I'm not killing these SCVs. And I'm putting so much money into actual... Well, actually, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm not building any units, which is actually kind of bad. So that's another thing I learned. Is that while attacking, you should always be building stuff as well. Do more than one thing at a time. Because if I had the reinforcements, I... Pr m well, not that I could have killed the bunk anyways with it being repaired, but if I brought some more reinforcements, I could have gotten away, I could have run away, I could have run away sooner rather than trying to kill those widow mines. I mean, running away, I mean, there's no shame in running away from a losing battle. Just, you know, run away, come back with a stronger number and, you know, beat them that way. But I'm putting way too much effort in this game into actually building 
you know, roaches and zerglings, and I'm doing this sort of like all-in tactic that could have worked if I was actually paying attention to when I was attacking and killed this bunker earlier. If I killed this bunker earlier, before we could have got more units out, I could have walked in, killed these, or chased them up the ramp, and put him back on the defensive. Because um, he's also just sitting back, relaxed, even though I'm attacking. Yeah, those riddle mines just... They didn't work out for me. So I did learn a couple things, though. One, kill SCVs. Two, I need to make more drones. As with everybody, I mean, I mean the nice thing about how this one is we do have these now nice little numbers above our extractors and above our bases that tell us what the optimal number are to have while mining. And this is... This game is 17 minutes long. I'm 10 minutes in, and I'm at half efficiency. So that's what I that's what I learned is that being rich is good, and he takes a full advantage of the money that he has. Full advantage, like he's completely saturated on that base. He's getting up there on this one. Goodbye, Mr. Overlord. Yes, just kind of split apart. The physics in this game are actually quite nice. And I'm still building units. I mean, building units is is good, and it's a really it's a really great way to win a game is to build units. The problem that I had in this game is I built the wrong kind. I stayed on the same type of unit for for too long. I didn't count try to counter pick anything. I mean, I saw he was getting marines, saw he was getting marauders, and I know he's getting hellions. So even if I made a couple of banelings, um, it would have helped because it probably would have thinned out these marines a little bit. Banelings are kind of crummy against marauders, but hey, roaches, they kind of die against marauders, but if you get enough damage on them, they die anyways. Especially if you have enough zerglings to sort of like soak up any type of fire that they throw at you. And again, I should not have built this. This is like the, probably one of the biggest mistakes I made this game, is that I should not have built this. I should have used the 300 minerals to make six drones. That's right, 300 times, what's that? It was It's six drones, isn't it? 300 divided by 50, yeah, six drones. Which would have helped my mineral count. Of course, I'm not actually building anything at this point, so it wouldn't really matter. I'm just kind of making money. Because um, I'm too busy sort of moving these roaches around again. Anyways, I hope you learned something. I sort of did. I learned that I need more practice as well, and you probably learned that as well, that I need more practice. So with that said, have a good one. My name is Stark, and I shall see you next time.